Apple's latest iPad has only been available for about a week now, but already it's breaking records. In the first weekend alone, Apple sold more than 3 million. Our gadget guy, Steve Van Dinter, has one of the coveted devices, and he's here now to check it out. Hi, Steve. What'd you Good think? Good afternoon. You know, uh, without actually turning it on, you're going to say, what's different about this mm -hmm. particular iPad? Well, the third generation iPad, has uh, they've taken their trusty tablet to a whole new level. You can't see from the outside, but if you turn it on, you're going to notice uh, right away, it's the screen. This retina screen is absolutely stunning. What they've done is they've taken the amount of pixels. So if you're watching on an HDTV right now, you know uh, you're seeing a very clear picture of us. But what they've done is taken all those pixels that you have on your screen, squished them into one the size of this of a piece of paper, essentially, and added one million more pixels on top of it. So you're talking 3.1 million pixels under the hood here. What that means is extreme clarity. So when you're playing games and other things, it looks pretty lifelike. If you look at that, mm -hmm. that's an amazing screen. Uh, so that's the first thing that's pretty so that'd cool. that'd be good for watching movies. <coughs> watching HD movies, uh, going ahead and, and looking at pictures that you've taken. And speaking of the camera, I'm going to go ahead and pull that up as well. The camera itself is now 5 megapixel, and they call it the EyeSight camera. What they've done is tweaked uh, some of the camera itself. I go ahead and take that picture. There's one that I took from earlier today. Um, let me pull it back here so I can look at it. But the nice thing about this, again, 5, point, uh, five megapixels they've gone ahead and included in there. And uh, it does a stunning here. I'm going to try and turn it so we can take a picture. But this just does a great job. It can take up to 10 uh, people at once. So it focuses on 10 folks at any given time. Uh, it uses extensive image capture. Uh, and it just has a, a, some intense clarity on it as well. Uh, so that's another uh, big step up for this particular device. Uh, another thing is extra power. So when we talked about I showed you a little bit that uh, that Temple Run game mm -hmm. uh, runs on a lot of juice, um, but uh, it's got a quad core graphics processor on it. So when you're playing this game, uh, you're going to see you got nice 3D, nice fluid motion here. Uh, they also needed to pack that quad core in because of the fact that you have so many pixels. 3.1 million pixels, they've all got to be run by a processor, and that means they needed that extra power. The final thing, and I think another big one if you're kind of a speed geek like me, uh, they added a 4G LTE chip. So I'm going to go ahead and do a speed test right now. This is using Verizon's 4G LTE network here in Madison. And you're going to see this is uh, testing the ping and now the download speeds. We're pulling up here 15, 16, 17 megabytes bits per second ended up there 18.84 megabit download wow. speeds an upload of 25.14 if you have a cable connection or any other hardline connections you're, you have a hard time to get a speed like this you're getting that in your device so how, how about the battery life the battery life is actually the same so what they've done is doubled the battery essentially that's in this device makes it a little bit heavier I know you know Mark when you picked yeah, it up it's, it's yeah it's about 50 grams heavier than the iPad 2 but it's still gonna last that 10 hours that you came to know and love with the iPad 2 and the other prior generations and, and what about the issue now we hear that it's getting hot it heats up to like 160 degrees. <laughs> You're right. So Consumer Reports did some testing since it came out last Thursday. Uh, they ran it through a barrage of tests, left the screen on, ran 4G LTE, and they also uh, put it through uh, intensive uh, uh, 3D graphics. So just really taxing that processor. Ended up at about 116 degrees, but really that's still under the 120 degree threshold, which is what uh, folks have said in terms of the limit that could cause actual damage. Again, in regular use, if you're not a heavy gamer, you're not planning to use it for hours on end, probably not going to be a big, big concern. But again, if you are, that may be a sign. Let's put the iPad away for a little bit and maybe <laughs> yeah. step outside and enjoy the 80 degree weather we've had. So, so. What, what will it set you back? Uh, the 16 gigabyte uh, Wi-Fi only version retails for $499. Throw in the LTE chip from Verizon or AT&T and the same uh, 16 gigabyte device runs you $629, but that doesn't include the data plan, so that's extra and you can do those month to month. Right now, the 4G LTE only available in Madison through Verizon, but AT&T will be bringing it to Madison at some point. They've got it currently in 28 other markets in the country. So a little pricey, but maybe worth it. Yeah, it could be worth it. I, you know. Yeah, that's fun. If you get the money for it and you're interested, for sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> thanks, Steve. All right, thanks, you're Steve. Welcome. Good to see you. And we'll be right back.